This is our walkthrough video of 2504 Juanita. Juanita is located um, in a really nice uh, neighborhood off Constitution in between 41 and Swift, just north of Clark. This is a, it is a really good neighborhood. There's a lot of uh, nice homes around here. Um, basically, we're one street off Constitution. Uh, this house is uh, auction.com. Has some issues. Number one, I'll say you need the roof. Number two, need some siding. Uh, just to kind of see what's going on in here. Wait, wait. I'm afraid something in there. I wonder what why why it's all black? I don't know. But this wood siding is um you know, it's not rotted, it's just wood siding. And um, so front door some like tile over the terrazzo. There is terrazzo in here, but it's in uh, pretty rough shape. So, first of all, there's a kitchen here uh, with, a, with a doorway passing through. Old school built-in oven. Um, this, could, this could all be opened up, I'm going to say for sure. Totally should. Especially if you're not concerned about saving the terrazzo because there'll be all sorts of nail holes if you take that wall out. Um, I can see there's a bucket here to catch leak from the ceiling. Uh, definitely too bad because the ceiling is actually pretty cool. Old school vents. There is a pool out here. Look at these big sliders. This is actually kind of neat. If this could be cleaned up and painted, it would be very difficult to replace this. But these sliders are giant and they slide into the wall. How cool is that? That means there's a giant concrete truss running across the top there. Uh, the pool deck doesn't look too terrible. The soffit looks in pretty good shape. That's some crazy block over there. Um, it's just very dated. Um, I assume the pool is in very pretty rough shape. Um, looking at it, I'm just kind of walking around trying to look at the edging here. Actually, I'm going to say it's not that terrible. You can kind of see in there some blue tile. It's actually in pretty decent shape. You can see that's where the roof leak is. This is an older train uh, air conditioning, but that's a good unit. I mean, that's a big train air conditioning uh, condenser. Backyard fence. Neighbor's house is okay over there. Um, get this little fence. The yard continues over here. Here's some broken concrete out of here, but maybe that was cut out for a planter. Overgrown planters here. Pool equipment over there. This was a shut off for something. I don't know if it was a pool heater or what. Maybe the pool equipment originally was over there. We'll look into that. I assume we'll probably need to do some pool equipment and some pool maintenance. Not sure why this was cut out of the terrazzo, um, but it was. So I'm going to say that the terrazzo probably can't be salvaged and we expect to do flooring in here. We have a, a closet and then we have a bathroom that's been demolished. You can see how uh, the Frazzo looked many years ago. And um, yeah, this is, this is 1960s construction. It's actually really well done. I mean, it's lath, that's a wire mesh. It's really, it's really hard to demolish, believe it or not. Um, toilet was here. So tile actually looks pretty good, even though I wouldn't keep it. We'd probably redo this whole bathroom, but that's the guest bathroom. Another spot that's been cut out here, I don't know why, but it was. Bedroom number one, so this is guest bedroom number one. Uh, we got a broken window, another broken window. I'd say these windows are not salvageable. This would be the master bedroom, which is a big bedroom. It's a big bedroom. These windows seem to work, and they have some shutters, which are pretty yucky on those. Um, Big bedroom, huge bedroom. So this bedroom has its own master bath. Look at this tile. Yeah, tile, it's gotta go. 
And this countertop definitely has to go. This is very artistic. It looks like it was painted tile or something. Very strange. Little closet. And then this pool bathroom walks out to here. Just makes it kind of a pool bath. Over here, I guess it was to be the laundry facility. We have the hookup for the washer and dryer. And then just a little storage room, I guess, here. And going back into the house. We look at two bedrooms. And then over here, hole in the door. This probably originally was the garage, I'm going to say, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, because that's the same level, but there's no terrazzo in here. All these bookcases, you get up in the roof to take a look. Um, you see a little daylight up there. And I can't quite figure out. <laughs> I can figure out. This is what's going on. A secret door. I love this. This is the secret, secret something. The panic room. Very odd. It is a secret room. That is pretty cool. How about that? I knew there had to be space there. But what is... So, but that's it. Um, hmm. I guess we'll call that a bedroom. So it has a secret closet. And there's a little linen closet here. But um, yeah, this house isn't too bad. I mean, it's going to need a roof. But it is, that siding at the front is crummy, but this is, this is stucco. Stucco, oh, that's block. That's block, 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 block. That's block. This is all block. Um, go back and look at the front. This house has got potential. It's in a great neighborhood. It's listed at 199 however, uh, auction.com, you know, makes it seem like you get it for nothing, but there's a few days left on the auction, it's, and then there is a 5% buyer's premium that is paid to auction.com, so. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Well, I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.